Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today is kind of like a non-planned uh, video, kind of uh, it's just uh, snuck up on me really. The Passat, working on the Volkswagen Passat again today. Uh, I think a couple days ago I went to open the boot and it's decided, sorry, mine is Fetty. He wants to play tennis, well, I'll throw the tennis ball. Anyway, I just tried to open the boot of the Passat and, uh, or the trunk and it is jammed, so I can't open it. Uh, which is quite annoying because I was trying to put some groceries in it. So uh, I was at the grocery store. So anyway, uh, what you need the state for is carrying stuff. So I need to fix it. So uh, I did a little bit of research. Uh, there's nothing online about how to replace it, but it is the actually switch. The, uh, the solenoid in there is jammed. I tried to do it really quickly by just hammering it, seeing that will jar it loose so I can at least get the boot open, but that didn't happen. So uh, I'm gonna need to replace the solenoid. So uh, I've already started on it a bit because I wasn't gonna make a video about it. I didn't even think about it. I was just kind of like, I need to get this fixed because it's kind of important. Uh, so I didn't really do a video on it. And I, there is a video on YouTube about it, but God, the shaking of the camera made my head spin and it's terribly filmed. So I thought, you know what, let's make a cool video so everyone can that has a Passat that has the same uh, problem can uh, get it fixed. And uh, I'll show you how to do it uh, step by step and uh, what the tools required and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Right. So this is the first piece you need to remove. Uh, mine's a 2015 Passat uh, Estate, uh, 1.9 liter. No, 1.6 liter diesel. Sorry, 1.6 liter. I don't know where I work out 1.9 from. Anyway, so you need to remove this panel first. Now, it is pretty simple. Uh, it mainly just pops in. So you've got underneath this little clip here, you've got two screws. You need to remove the safety uh, road hazard sign. Uh, there's two screws here, which are uh, which are typical uh, Volkswagen uh, star patterns. I'll tell you the size in a minute, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so you move those two. You need to remove these two covers here, which are pretty simple. They just pull out. And then there's a handle cover that covers the handle here. You need to remove the handle. And there's two screws down in there. There's one there, as you can see and one there. Now I've already removed this from the car because like I said, I wasn't gonna do a video and I was just trying to get it fixed. Uh, so let's go show you the new part and then I'll walk you out to the car and we'll start taking it apart because it's still together and it's still jammed. So let's do that. Sorry, I forgot to mention about removing the panel here. So it is it is just snapped on. Once you remove the screws and everything, it is just snapped into place. And these there's quite a lot of them around the panel. So basically you just need to tug it off. Just be gentle so you don't break it. I used here to try to pull it off. And then it does come off pretty easily after that. Even if your boot is jammed, you can still get it off with the boot closed. So it's just about removing it slowly. Okay, all right, let's crack on and show you the part. All right, here's the new solenoid. So it's basically a whole new one of those. Uh, looks like there's only a couple bolts to remove it. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad to at least remove it. Now there might be a little tricky part where I need to uh, unjam it because this is the part that's jammed here. So it's locked into place so it's pushed over the hook so i might need to take a little bit more apart to get to that i don't know yet because this is the first time i've attempted it so i'm going to give it a go uh, also this part i got off ebay uh it is an aftermarket piece uh i think it was 27 pounds with the postage from ebay so it seemed like a uh it's, there's quite a lot of them for sale on ebay so i'm pretty sure this is a quite a common failure on the passat and any volkswagen because i saw them for the golf the, uh, the Jetta, and uh, even even their SUVs, Torag and stuff like that. So uh, they, it is a pretty common failure. So hopefully this will help all the all the Volkswagen guys out understand how to do it. So let's crack on and get into the car and show you how it removes. All right, going in the garage to pick up the tools I need, and hopefully I should be able to do it all with one socket set because it's got pretty much everything I need in it. I'll give you a quick glance in there of uh, what's in it. Just, uh, I've used this toolkit so much, it's ridiculous, because it's so simple, and it's got almost everything, but it doesn't have everything, obviously, it doesn't have screwdrivers and stuff like that, but it's got the Torx heads for the Volkswagens, which I need, I can't, I'll show you what size it is, and it's got socket sets to remove the bolts, so let's take this out there and see if this will actually do everything. All right, there she is in all her glory. It's actually really looking good. I gave her a good bath the other day, so she's quite polished up. All right, let's get in the car and get an idea of what we're working on. Sorry for the jumble. All right, climbing in the boot. So that's the solenoid we need to replace. 
So as you can see here, there's a tough couple screws here. There's one there and one there. So we need to top, pop those off. But this is the part where it's jammed. And I did spray some uh, some lubricant down there to see if that will help uh, maybe loosen it up or maybe give it break it free. So I had access to uh, at least put stuff in the boot, but nope, didn't work. So let's set the camera up and I'll show you and I'll show you basically me removing it. All right. So far, you need T15 hex bit. That takes off the panel that I showed you earlier. Then you need a 13 mil socket to take off the two bolts here. So we'll get to moving those now. All right. All right. Hopefully the camera won't be too wobbly because uh, I am laying in the trunk. So let's see if we can get this bad boy unbolted. Actually, that came pretty loose. Disconnect the cable, the connection from it. That should just pop out there, I would imagine. Of course, it's not. Huh. Not sure why that won't come off. Oh, I see, it's double pinned. And it's double pinned on an each side. It's interesting. I don't see those very often. Okay, that's not coming off too easy, is it? There you go. Let's see if that will do it. There you go. I normally don't have two pins on the side like that. Okay, well, it's Volkswagen. I'm still learning. I can actually see the door starting to move a bit. That means it's it might be coming free, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. is can I get this off I can see where it's jammed over it Let's see if I can use a good old-fashioned screwdriver to unjam it Let's see what we're looking at here. I think that might be it actually no I see it again no I didn't See where it's hooked over it, but can I push it back? I'm not sure actually. off a bit. I'm not worried about damage in this new solenoid because I have a new one. But basically what I'm trying to do is wedge the hook back. And I need to go get a flashlight because I can't see too well. I need to go get a flashlight. I'll be right back. Right, couldn't get it unjammed, so you need to remove this back panel and remove the whole thing from the car. There's a couple of screws back here. And then remove the whole locking mechanism from the car. And then I should be able to loosen it up. Too bad, just unclipping. There's two 13 millimeter bolts here holding the latch, 
holding the latch into place. There we go. That's it. Oh, shit. Just dropped it on the car. No, I didn't. Uh. Right. So we'll take that to the back. Let's see if we can separate it. All right, as you can see, I've got it here on the workbench. It's not as easy. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, but uh, I'll show you what what's happened so far and bring you over. So this used to sit down in there and it clips into these places here. You just gotta be very gentle of getting that out. It's quite, it's quite once you see it in person, you'll understand how it comes out. It's quite simple. Uh, so I've removed that now. And now let me put you back on the pedestal. What I'm hoping to do, sorry about that. What I'm hoping to do now is get this thing out of here. So it'll give me some room to work. Cause that's, okay, there you go. See, now I can get rid of this big plastic tray. We put that on the ground out of the way. So removing this piece here gives you the capability of getting through. So I can show you now. So basically the lock is jammed in there on the, on the mount. So I need to, I took off the cover of the motor to see if there's something I can do to release it. But all my all my attempts so far have been, uh, well, haven't worked. So I'm going to keep messing with it. Uh, the, the good old screwdriver trying to wedge the, the lock mechanism back, which is this piece I'm talking about. So I'm trying to wedge that piece back to get the lock out of the, the mount out of it. And then then it's all smooth sailing after that. But I just gotta get through this part right now. So uh, stay tuned, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay guys, that was a little bit more than I uh, anticipated to get that, uh, to get the uh, shaft loose, but I've done it now. Well, just about. It was, uh, yeah, what I recommend doing if you're gonna do this job buy this piece here, buy this bracket, because if it's jammed like mine is, I couldn't figure out a way to get it thing other than cut it. So there's a little bit of damage from me trying to hacksaw it off, which I've done, but it's still wedged in there just barely by the, by the, uh, by the piece I've cut, but should be able to push it out in a second, hopefully. There you go. So basically, it's not the right way to do it, I'm, I must say, but it's the only way I could get it apart and I need to close the boot. So if you're doing this job and it gets locked like that, buy a new one of these brackets from, from, Super, from Volkswagen, excuse me. I don't know how much they are. The part number is on the back, I believe. Part number is AV082-7507E. It's a Audi part. It also says uh, part number 18062015A. Uh, yeah. Right, that's in the bin. All that in the bin. So I'm gonna wash my hands up and start putting it all back together now and I'll show you how that goes. How to cut it. Uh, just a quick one before we go out to the car to reinstall everything. Off the old one, you need to take this plastic cover off. There's two little clips here that hold it in place, one on each side. Just pull those back and then it just slides right out. So you got your old one there. And then uh, you're going to put the new one back in. And uh, it's a little different when it comes to the side of it by looks of it. But yeah, you want to put them side by side to see how they look. And they do look pretty similar. I mean, other than this is yellow and that's white. I guess that's distinguishing it's an aftermarket part. But uh yeah, so we'll slide that in there. Hopefully, it should slide in there. Yep, okay, that's all slide in there. So that's the new part installed, ready to go. And uh, yeah, we'll take this back out to the car now. And we'll bolt that back in. I've got to put the trim piece back on. I'll show you how that goes. Okay, let's get the bracket bolt, bolted back on. Just make sure you have it facing this orientation where the, where the grab where it hooks around the round surface is facing you. And then we'll tighten this back down. Put that bolt back down. And it's 
nice and snug. Okay, that looks good. All right, now I need to, you need to put back the little flap that you removed. Uh, I probably should do this on the workbench, but I'll give it a go here. Okay. It just snaps back into place. That one's in, that one's in, that one's in. That one's in. Oop. Needs to slide my way a bit. That one's in. That one's in. And then those little, if you can see that, these little clips here hook behind the black trim like that. And that's basically lock that flap. Now the flap works. Okay, so now we need to snap this back into place, which looks like it's lined up pretty well. Yeah. Uh, it's gotta go underneath the weather strip though. Let's move the weather strip out of the way. Got the weather strip tucked behind the weather strip so it doesn't damage that. There we go. Right, snap back in place. Cool. All right, we'll go ahead and bolt this to the roof now. Got a couple screws. So a couple of bolts. We'll get this bolted back into place. Oops, sorry. Like that. Gloves. Torque that down now. All right. We'll hook our power up. All right, let's see if it works. All right, let's give it a whirl. Success. Let's try it again just for safe measures. There you go. That works perfect. All right, let's put the rear trim back on then, and that's job done. All right, I'm going to include you in putting the rear trim on because, you know, you've seen everything else. So. Even though it is just hopefully just snapping on, but you do have to climb into the boot which is fun. I don't know if it's easier to do it with the, with, the, with the thing up or the way I took it off. I don't know, we'll find out. It might be okay just to do it this way. Maybe, I don't know. It came out, it came out pretty easily. Maybe I'm gonna need to do this higher, actually, above, above the trim. Actually, I'm thinking it might be easier if I open the trunk. Let's open the trunk. I think it might be easier. Like I said, it's all trial and error. It's just so nice that it opens now. <laughs> all right, let's just try to put it on. Put it on uh, with the boot up. It might be easier this way, I don't know. can't really see what you're doing. Okay. Oh, I heard a snap, that's always good. That means one of them went in. Oh, that one's going in, that's good. That 
one's going in. The third snaps. That one's going in. I don't break the bridge. That one's going in. That one's going in. All right. I show you guys. Yeah, so I need to. This didn't line up right. See, one's on the other side, one's on the outside. I believe it's supposed to go on the outside. This trim here, like that. I need to need to pop this back off and do that. But I'm not going to bore you with that. And then I got to put the two screws in here, the two screws here. Put all the covers back on, and we're good to go. I won't bore you with that because that was pretty easy stuff to do. So I'll uh, see you in a minute. All right, that is all the trim back on now. All snapped back into place and all functionally working. I'm gonna come out here and uh, and vacuum the car because it needs a it needs a bath. It actually opens a lot smoother now. Good, good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna vacuum the car out a bit because it's uh, full of dog hair. <laughs> all right, and that concludes uh, putting the new door actuator, lock actuator in the boot there of the Passat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it uh, made sense and you were able to follow along and maybe fix it on your Passat and do it yourself. Uh, probably estimate that would probably be a pretty expensive repair bill if you had to do it at a repair shop. Uh, at least three or four hours worth of, re worth of uh, work, I would imagine. So uh, if that saves you some money, hopefully hopefully so. So uh, yeah, stay tuned maybe for more Passat uh, videos, uh, how-to repairs and stuff, because I've had the Passat now for about five years now, maybe. I think like that, four or five years, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I've done a few other how-to videos. Uh, so if you want to follow, uh, check those out. Just uh, scroll through my history or search Passat in my uh, in my channel there, and it should bring up all the uh, repair work I've done and uh, the how-tos on how to do it, and hopefully save you guys some cash because that's that's why I do it really, just to help you guys out. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you made it to this far, if you haven't subscribed, please do because uh, there'll be more stuff coming along. So uh, thanks for watching again, and I hope you guys have a good one.